maybe no other segment tonight set up revolution quite like that as far as buzz moment other than than i mean this cul- culmination of the women's tournament um you know we got to see nyla rose versus rio um and the winner of this gets to face Sheeta at at Revolution. So I mean, there was a lot on the line tonight. Yeah, there um, was a lot. Weeks and weeks of of content. <laughs> um, SPD, I know you were firmly on Team USA. Uh, what were your thoughts on this match? I was surprised by the finish, um, but at the same time, it's nice that we're not going to be getting a, a a rematch of a recent match and kind of like a fresh. Uh, match you know this to me unfortunately the booking of this tournament i know we've talked about this wasn't the way that we would book it obviously we're fans not bookers but um to to elevate a division i don't think this is the way they should have gone nothing against rio or nyla both showed up tonight in a good way they had a great match um and rio i think looked the best in her tournament um here in u.s soil um versus you know all the stuff she did on the japan side of the tournament so i think rio was um looked really good but i'm still not on board you know like we talked about last time uh how the showboating you know this is a tournament for the number one contender there there is a time and a place to dance and 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 sing and, and run around which I'm all for, you know, a, a lot of those gimmicks I've always been a uh, huge fans of, of the funniest, ridiculous gimmicks in the match, you know, the Orange Cassidy, the the slow kicks with the crowd, oh, oh, hands in pockets, like, I'm all for that, but if Orange Cassidy was in a finals to be a number one contender for a world title or TNT, I feel like he should be taking it much more serious and be just dialed in. We saw that dialed in with Thunder Rosa in her match, like, she was, like, pure focus against Nyla, and that's the way it should be, uh, in my opinion. Um, Rio coming out on top was a surprise. It really establishes another dominant woman in the division. Um, so I think that's a win in that part. Mm -hmm. Uh, she had some good point, good moments, you know, all her leg drops are pretty brutal and, you know, props to Nyla because for being that big of a a wrestler, she can sell really well as a big, that's rare, you know, you, you really, we saw uh, some great selling out of her. And so yeah. she, she really showcased the opposite side of the coin because it takes two to tell a story in wrestling or four or six or whatever. You know, it's not a single one person. It's hard to tell a story with just one person. So both, you know, winner, loser, heel, face, you know, regardless, you know, it wor- they, they worked well together. Um, but it was a surprise. And I was happy to see a little bit of, you know, turmoil at the end between Sheeta and Rio. Um, I I think Rio is going to come or Rio Sheeta is going to come out on top of yeah. this. Point. You know, I still think the momentum's on her side, and which is kind of um, it's okay because Sheeta's run has been kind of hit or miss due to you know COVID and and you know talent level, and she hasn't really been able to defend too much recently. But yeah, at the same time this tournament should have been essentially crowning a new champion and that's what we were hoping for out of brit or thunder or even uh nyla or rio or someone you know dethroning the champion just to to inject fresh blood into the women's division so um for storytelling purposes and for the tournament coming to an end i'll have to give this this match an elite an elite I will just just because. Wow, I was expecting you generous. to make it easier on me because I'm I'm giving this a delete. I was expecting SPD, the the, the resident women's division critic, uh, to make it but easier seeing, on me. But I'm seeing, you know, like I said, I'm trying to see the light in this, and you know, it would be easy to book Nyla as the winner of this and move on. But like I said, you established another a new fresh face. I mean, we've seen her before, but you know, a lot of people have not seen her. So um, I think in that part, I'm looking at as the big picture, this by far was not the best match of the tournament. No. Um, I think far from it. Yeah. Like I said, not close, not components, you know, all of thunder matches were a plus Britt Baker had a plus matches. Um, And I don't know what to say. You know, Serena Deeb and Rio, that, that could have been – that should have been the finals in my opinion. That I'm, really I, I'm glad that you talked about this uh, 
seg- this match as much as you did because we can transition very quickly. I will say it's a delete. Um, this did not feel like the the tournament finals at all to me. Um, right. Just did not have that feel whatsoever. Um, did not carry the the urgency. Um, did not represent a. I don't know. It, it, it did to it me. Might it have did been better not on TV just because of such a stacked show. It didn't really do, even though it had extremely high uh, stakes at at hand. You know, title shot. Yeah. No. I mean, I understand. I understand trying to. I mean, getting this on the go home show because we're gonna see. You know, we're gonna see now Rio versus Sheeta. Um, and I and I get this has Kenny Omega's fingerprints all over the the tournament now. It makes so much sense. Knowing his role in the women's division, knowing his his, his thought process, the dude loves Joshi wrestlers. The, I mean, if you follow Kenny's career, you know that he he loves the, the Japanese scene. Um, everybody has different taste. I I am not. I'm I'm just not there. I, I guess I'm not. I'm I'm not that guy. I like. I I'm mm-hmm. definitely more in the. Um, the Thunder Rosa, the Britt Baker. Um, yep, I, I like I, the American side of this tournament. To me, I was like, man, my jaw was dropped, brother. I, I loved like Ty Conti. I think her upside is incredible. Um, Serena Deeb, like you mentioned, I think that she her, that Serena Deeb, Riho. Um, I mean, th- uh, there there's so many talented people on that side, and the way that the, the way that the contrasts and styles to me. Again, I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm just saying as a fan, I like I like the more serious sense of urgency that comes with True. what I'm seeing out of the American side of the tournament. Um, I understand even when you see the post-match antics between Rio and Sheeta, I thought that, uh, you know, there were some hints that maybe crayfish might have to eat his words at, at revolution that, you know, those two were throwing some stiff shots after the match. So yeah. if that match um, mimics that po- the post match stuff that we saw tonight, where you saw some stiff strikes, because again, I've always said, you know, she has gotten a lot of slack from a lot of folks and I've always kind of stood up for her in the sense that like, dude, you give, I mean, she does when she's in the ring, bro, like, she throws some stiff strikes. I like her offense. I think that Sheeta can can really deliver some powerful yeah. stuff. So if you get Rio and Sheeta throwing throwing shots like they did tonight, I I will I will gladly say that um, you know it turned out to be a worthwhile endeavor. But uh, I feel well, like I, this. Would- say I'm I'm way at this point. I'm way more excited for the new announcement: Thunder Rose and Rio versus Britt Baker and Reba. If Reba can't go, Britt is going to choose her own opponent. Which, just thinking about it, I think you throw in someone like Penelope Ford. That would be a really exciting match. So that, to me, is a much more exciting match, in my opinion. But I'm challenging Sheeta and Rio to prove me wrong. Yeah, prove me wrong that that should not that this should be on Revolution versus the pre-show. So I'm excited to to see what's in store, what kind of storytelling that they're going to tell, be- because I know anytime Thunder and Britain get in a ring, and this will be an, an, a nice blend of tag team, um, it's going to be an outstanding match. And so please, Sheeta and Rio, prove me wrong that, that you you deserve this. Outst- I mean, they do deserve it, yes, but prove me wrong to have a show-stealing match. I think, that I, I think again, like if they show – if they show that that intensity that we saw at post match, then we're we're in store for some good stuff. Um, you know, I, I'll give this, like you talked about, SPD Nyla. Before we transition to the next the next segment, yeah, Nyla. the The division is better with Nyla um, in a feature role now. Yes, she doesn't necessarily. I mean, there she needs to be able to make some room for some stars that have kind of started to really establish themselves while she has been on the back burner of late, right? I mean, the Thunder right. Rosas, the Britt Bakers, the Ty Contis, Serena Deebs, those types of talents do need to have uh, – they need to be focused on as well. They need to have their place on in the women's division, and that's a good problem to have. Yep. But a- as a fan, I will say 
although I was disappointed in some, and I'm not alone, I was disappointed in the way that this tournament played out in some ways. The match quality consistently throughout this tournament was very high. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Nyla, for, especially for such a big, strong athlete, yeah. Um, she doesn't like you talked about it. She does a great job of selling for her opponents. You very rarely see the big hoss characters make their opponents look as good as Nyla does. So I have to give her credit for that. And I can understand maybe why she, she was pushed in this elevate this way, because, you know, Rio slaying the, the native beast certainly gives her a lot of credibility heading into this match with, with Sheeta. So for I sure. can understand, I can understand that. Um, and Nyla doesn't lose any heat, go like losing that match. I mean, she looked, she looked like she looked great. She looked dominant in this tournament. Um, I just didn't feel like this. Although, again, I, I just didn't feel like this match felt like the culmination of a tournament to me. It just didn't. It didn't hit in that regard. So, I, I again, we'll, we'll see what happens at Revolution. Um, out of all the matches, this one, I'm. I know that a lot of people are kind of not so hot on the, the Miro match. I'm, I actually loved Miro's promo tonight. I thought that Miro showed that intensity that I'm, I'm excited for um, this match. Sheeta versus Rio is, is the one that got a lot to prove uh, to me. I, and I'm looking forward to it because I think that they're capable of it. Um, yeah. But, but uh, we'll see what happens. That's it.